On this episode of the Atlanta Maker, we look at Glowforge Premium and what you get if you subscribe and what you lose if you don't. All right, everyone. So this has kind of been a hot topic in the Glowforge community, but um, in the last 48 hours, Glowforge has announced their Glowforge Premium, which we all knew was coming at some point, but the details were pretty sparse. And we had some free use of some of the premium features, which are about to go away on November 3rd if you don't end up subscribing. So let's get into a little bit about what is Glowforge Premium and um, what some of the changes are going to be. So uh, the first is let's talk a little bit about what you're going to lose if you do not subscribe to the monthly pay service. And that's going to be pretty much anything with this little um, diamond icon on it, which would include the artwork, uh, clip art type stuff, the uh, shape tool, which I use quite a bit for just running test cuts and checking settings, um, and then the text tool, which I use to customize things quite often. So these are all going to go away along with these little uh, tools over here. You can see the diamond. So the outline tool, creating an outline, as well as flip vertical and flip horizontal are going to disappear if you do not subscribe to their monthly uh, Glowforge premium service. So... Uh, you don't need it to use your Glowforge. You can use Adobe Illustrator and import all your files, but uh, these are fairly convenient for making tweaks and running tests and all that. So it's not necessary by any means. It's, it's a nice convenience to have. Uh, to me, it really depends on the cost for uh, the premium service, which uh, we'll get into in a little bit, and you just have to decide if it's worth it or not at that point. Let's talk about... Um, some of the things that you're going to gain uh, if you do subscribe to the service. And those would be, you get faster servers. And the fa when they say faster servers, that's only the processing time it takes from the time you hit print to the time you are able to print, uh, hit your flashing button. So it's not going to make your Glowforge cut or engrave things faster, but it will, and they claim up to four times faster process your your files to be to get them ready for printing we're going to run some tests on that here and we'll show you the results at the end of this video all right you also get access to some free designs um, there's a free design library now it's called free with premium and you'll get access to all of these designs and not only for personal use but you can print them out and sell them so you get i guess i would call it commercial rights to those also you can't sell the files but you can sell the products you made with the files and they have a pretty good range of items in here right now uh, there's actually more than one page um, and you can see that this was actually in the glowforge community forum uh, and in the future they're going to announce a um, option for designers to partner with them and you can submit your designs to be included with the free with premium area um, and get a little spiff every time somebody prints it. The second part with the free design files is there's a design of the month file. This would be the October design. Uh, I believe it's the October design. So every month they'll add a new file. Um, and, you know, depending on uh, if you look at these and think it's something that you find interesting that may be worth uh, something for you. You know, I tend to pay anywhere from two to fifteen dollars for design files if I'm buying something versus making it. So this could cover it at the current discount premium price. That may be worth it for you. Um, and then they're also coming up with something. I don't know if it's available yet called Pass Prints, uh, where Every time you hit the print button, it'll save kind of like a historical version record. So let's say you print something three times and you tweak it each time in the Glowforge UI over here. Um, you'll be able to go back and print a prior version if you wanted. Like I said, that's something I, I haven't seen yet in practice, but they, they said it's coming as part of the Glowforge Premium. So uh, let's talk about the pricing a little bit. This is pretty crazy to me. Their full price they're thinking is $50 a month, which to me is is absolutely absurd. I would never pay $50 a month for what they have available now. 
and they claim part of the rationale for that is that they're going to be upgrading it over time and they're trying to get you uh, as a subscriber now at the unlocked in at a lower price point for those of us that are existing members we're going to uh, uh, you know be able to get it at a discounted rate for as long as we continue uh, 15 bucks a month is maybe a little more than I would like for what they're offering now but I'm gonna give it a try for a little while and see what happens so let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade and uh, to do that on yours uh, you'll have a trial button up here or it prompts you back on your home page too if you want to upgrade so let's go ahead and go through the upgrade process and I'll be right back with you all right so I'm back I've completed the upgrade process it's really straightforward you click the trial button enter your information and your payment information and you're good to go so uh, let's go and kind of let me run a couple quick tests on speed tests and we'll talk about how much faster the processing is for preparing your files. Be right back. All right, I'm back. I just ran a couple speed tests. And uh, I, if somebody out there has not upgraded yet, let me know. I'd, I'd like to run some speed tests in more detail um, because I'm not entirely confident in these numbers yet uh, because they do include um, autofocus time uh, in the calculation, which really... Uh, it doesn't seem to be affected at all by the new servers from what I can tell but I uh, ran a couple tests and um, on one of my files it did return about 17 percent faster including the autofocus uh, portion so uh, it can be done what I'm seeing is still the autofocus portion takes the longest and the actual calculation isn't too bad depending on what you're doing but there does seem to be some speed increase I don't see four times speed yet but uh, like I said if anybody out there hasn't upgraded maybe we can run some uh, tests together and run the same file and see how long it takes but if, you, if you're interested email me at the Atlanta or email me at atlantamaker at gmail.com all right let's talk about a couple other little things um, they've added some features for everybody and that includes the ability to export designs now so if you have a design in here that's not one of their um, catalog designs uh, you can export it to an SVG now uh, if it is a catalog design that you've customized you can export your customizations out uh, which is nice uh, but you can't export the actual design out they've also added design sorting so um, you're able to sort the designs by last open or created date they've also made a slight change to storing your files on their servers so if you're an existing Glowforge member we're going to be uh, part of what's called legacy storage which means that our files will be stored on the server indefinitely with no expiration date but any new users designs will only be stored on the server for 30 days after the last time they've been used so if a file hasn't been used for 30 days they're going to be removed from your uh, control panel you know pricing wise fifty dollars I would never pay that for it fifteen dollars I'll give it a try for a little bit we'll see the quality of the designs that come in and see if they change or you know add new features to it on an ongoing basis uh, the faster servers will be nice but if they don't actually deliver four times um, their you know deliver on their promise of four times speed it may not be worth the fifteen dollars a month either so Hope that helps kind of shed a little light on what the differences are with Glowforge Premium. And if there's any updates as we learn more about it, I'll try and pin a comment in the video description uh, down below. And if you have any questions, let me know. See you next time.